what's up guys welcome back to the channel welcome back to another video and in this video i want to talk about the battery life of ios 26 beta 8 so i'm using ios 26 8, beta 8 for a while now and beta 8 and public beta 5 are pretty much same so over here are two devices both are running the latest ios 26 betas and in this video i want to talk about the battery life performance and how these days are going on so beta 8 and slash public beta 5 is out for like now three days so this is a three day battery life review it is an important video because it will create a lot of stuff regarding how is the battery going on so without any further delay let's dive into this video so let's get into the settings and let's see um let me get into the battery section over here let the battery st start load i'm gonna get to the battery sections of my other iphone over here let the battery stats load first we will look into this one over here as you can see for now it is running public beta 5 and we will go to the view battery usage and for the first day when i started using this uh, version i used 67 percent of my device and for that i got seven hours and six minutes screen on time amazing screen on time a really good screen on time the next day i use it for 56 percent and i got five hours and 33 minutes screen on time again a really good screen on time today i'm not able to use my device much i use around 47 percent and i got three hours and 33 minutes screen on time i am not happy with today's screen on time but overall battery life is good experience is pretty pretty good now this device over here is running beta 8 so if i go to the first day of the beta 8 57 percent for four hours and 22 minutes amazing really good the next day I use it for 67% and 3 hours and 40 minutes. Not that impressive but decent because it's quite an old device. It's iPhone 11. This one over here is iPhone 16. Today I use around 65% at 3 hours 13 minutes. Again that is fine. That is okay. As you can see I was using media apps mostly. I was quite active on Netflix, Instagram and other stuff as you can see. Now this the battery health of this device is 92% so that is fine this is still a decent screen on time. So if I conclude the screen on time for the both of devices which means if I conclude the screen on time for the iOS 26 beta 8 slash public beta 5 battery life seems to be improved it is better than the previous update. You know when the public beta 4 was released many people were talking about that public beta 4 is not good in terms of battery life public beta 3 was better but now it seems after public beta 4 public beta 5 is quite improved in terms of battery life which is a good sign a big thumbs up now i want to talk about the performance obviously now i talk about this in my couple of videos that right after installing the update i saw amazing improvements what a smoothness in both of devices even this one is quite an old device i'm mean, like it's iphone 11 but still i saw smoothness on like both of our devices like it is like really smooth everything is really fine no issue at all with both of devices now if i get into the geekbench of both of these devices and i want to share how the geekbench is going on so i will first get into the cpu benchmark over here cpu history this is the latest one 3416 on a single core 8623 on a multi-core single core is higher than the average one multi-core is also higher than the average one over here i got uh, 1780 on a single core while 4145 on a multi core both scores are higher than the average one in fact this multi core score is really really impressive which is a really good sign now i want to talk about the gpu benchmark over here getting into gpu history on this device on my iphone 16 i got 27785 metal score which is obviously slightly higher than the average one on the iphone 11 i got 14091 which is quite higher than the average one so on paper numbers are really good it seems these uh, updates are really improved and which is a really good sign and i'm happy with the performance being very honest now so far public uh, beta 5 and uh, beta 8 are going really good now many of you were asking me should we update to public beta 5 and i would say if you want to try out right away you can definitely update but you know uh, the official update is almost over here apple announced their event that is coming on 9th september and after the event we are expecting the public release of ios 26 so it's been few days remaining i would suggest you to wait 
but if you can't wait you can go for the public beta too they are completely fine no issue at all so in early betas we used to get issues like it is crashing somewhere in settings it was crashing and somewhere it was crashing but now in these days we are not seeing any sort of crash of any app however today while i was you know practicing my short video i get into the photos app and i was editing a photo and the photo app crashed for once it happened it may be get fixed in the rc update but this is what happened well this is all from this video but the next update is definitely going to be the rc update and videos about that will also come very very soon well that's all from this video and i hope to catch you guys in my next video until then take care peace out